In this video, I'm going to solve um, three different logarithmic equations. Um, this will be applying some of our log rules and converting things from logarithmic form into exponential form. Just some basic skills that you need to know to be able to solve a logarithmic equation. So on this first example right here, I'm going to take a look at what's on my left hand side here. And I'm going to see I've got two logs with the same base that are being added. So I can apply my properties of logs to this left hand side. When adding two logs, then I can multiply them as a single log. So then I will have the log of x times x minus 3 and then equals 1. Okay, now I am down now to the place where I can think, okay, I've got an imaginary 10 that's sitting right there. I have a log equation that has been simplified on my left. So then I can go to exponential form. So right here, next step is exponential form. So I can write this 10 to the first power equals this expression right here. So I'll have 10 to the first power, which you really wouldn't need to put that one there equals x times x minus 3. Once you go into exponential form, then this becomes just a basic equation to solve. I'm going to have 10 equals an x squared minus 3x. I see now I have a quadratic, so I'm going to move that 10 over. x equals, or 0 equals x squared minus 3x minus 10. All right, if you are lucky at this point, this is going to factor. If it does not, then you could do quadratic formula or completing the square. In this case, though, I'm pretty sure this one factors into an x and an x, and a 5 and a 2, with a negative on the 5 and a plus on the 2. That's going to give us x equals negative 2, and x equals 5. Now, on logarithmic equations, you need to take both those answers, plug them back into that original equation, and see if they check. All right, when I take the x equals negative 2 and I plug it back in, the very first place I plug it back in right here, I would be taking the log of a negative number, and we know that's not allowed, so I get to immediately throw that out. I don't even have to do the rest of the check. Plugging this in, I would have the log of 5 plus the log of 2, and then does that equal 1? You could use calculator to do a quick check there to verify that yes, it does. All right, so I would have a solution set of just 5. All right, for the second one, I'm probably going to do two things all in my first step here. I've got the natural log of x to the third plus 5 equals 1. So I'm going to bring that 3 down in front. In my class, I call that jumping the frog because I've got a log and something sitting up on top of that log. We refer to it as a frog. So we jump the frog there and go ahead and subtract 5 from both sides of the equation all in that first step. So then I'm going to have 3 times natural log of x equals a negative 4. At that point, then I'm going to try to isolate that log, so I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So then I'm going to have the natural log of x equals a negative 4 thirds. All right, now again, I've got my log simplified on the left-hand side equaling something on the right-hand side. This now, I can go to exponential form. The natural log has a base of e, so I'm going to go to exponential form again but this time using an e. So I will have an e raised to the negative 4 thirds equaling x. All right, um, you might be able to leave the answer like that. If not, you could get a calculator and then get the decimal approximation for that. So x would be approximately 0.264 on that. Again, you would want to take this and plug it back in and see what you get. But this one, if I left it in this form right here and I plugged in, um, e to the negative four-thirds, then it would real easily, you're going to be able to check and see that this is going to check. Um, on this last example here, first thing I think I'm going to do is if I can unjump a frog, I can also jump the frog back up on that log, so I'm going to move that two up there and square it. I would then have a three squared right there, which would be nine. So then I'm going to have natural log x plus six equals natural log of 9. All right, now we've got a property that says if I've got a log with the same base on both sides of the equal sign, then I can cross those two logs off. And then I would have an x plus 6 equals 9. Subtracting 6 from both sides, x equals 3. And then again, you're going to want to 
check that in your answer there. So plugging 3 back in, that'd be 6 plus 3 is going to be 9, natural log of 9, and this is natural log of 9 once I square it. So again, that checks and that checks. Okay, so solution set here, if you need to write them in solution sets, a lot of people require that. Um, especially sometimes you might get two or three answers, in which case you definitely are going to want to do that solution set form. Um, definitely, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.